Eugene here with a review on the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Slash. Yes, friends. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. Uh, pretty much same standard packaging that we've seen in the past. It says Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles right here. Right here, it's got a nice CGI imagery of the four turtles. And right here, it says, as seen in TMNT TV show season two. And right here, it says, slash, friendly pet turn evil foe. And on the back, it's got a nice, awesome shot of Slash in his bio here. And uh, right here, it just shows you other advertisements of other Ninja Turtle toys that we've already seen in the past. Okay, friends, here he is, our boy Slash. Now, Slash was once Raph's pet turtle named Spike. He mutated into a large Krager turtle. So, all of Season 1, he was Spike. And now into Season 2, he is Slash. And so, let's go ahead and take a look at him. Um... And as you can see, uh, Slash, is, Slash has that large, bulky body uh, type. Uh, of course, he's got a small head here. Uh, he's got his uh, underbite with his jaw here. Um, and pretty much his skin color is a dark green, almost a bluish on him. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, and clearly I will point out that this figure is missing some paint. And I'll show that you know a little bit but right here if you can see this little it looks like a peg uh, sticking out by his neck but really and truly it's a spike and it really could have been uh, mainly the color right of this part here so and he could use a little more green here you know right here on the stomach area here uh, right here you can see he's got the wrap here in like a magenta here now the wraps here is a is in a black here and then of course look at the uh, his uh, fingers Right here, where the fingernails is, is missing some paint, mainly supposed to be in, like, the color of the spike here, or, you know, the color on the, the, uh, the shell here. Uh, but, uh, anyway, um, pretty much that's all I feel that he is missing, you know, the paint here. And this guy is pretty much a shrimp, really. He's not really tall like he is in the show. Uh, right there, he's got the S on his belt here. Now, on the feet here, this is another another thing that I, I, um, um, I'm not happy with. Clearly, the wraps are all in like a dark black, you know, a dark brown, I mean. But clearly, they went ahead and had the feet, you know, uh, done as the same color as the wraps when the feet are really supposed to be like a, the darkish, uh, the, the dark green, almost bluish color and the nails, you know, the similar to the shell here. And, uh, Anyway, on the back of here, you know, you can see the light green here and, you know, the outer uh, um, area around the shell uh, down in the black here, you know. And so, like I said, he is definitely lacking some paint here, but let me real quickly show you on the back of the card real quickly. You can see he's not really missing any paint, you know. Look at the, uh, the toes are done, the nails are done, you know. So... I'm kind of disappointed in that with the paint, but all in all, I am glad we got a Slash figure, you know. Always been a fan of Slash. But anyway, articulation-wise, we has uh, movement in the head here, uh, you know, movement in the shoulders, and he does have movement in the arms here, uh, and, you know, rotation here, too. Uh, no uh, waist movement due to this body sculpt, pretty much. And of course, you know, uh, swivel in the legs here. So uh, anyway, and he does have a content, and it is his uh, spike mace. I kind of wish it was painted a little more, mainly like right here. But you know, you can uh, clearly have old slash hold it in any of one of his hands here. You know, uh, but I think it just depends on you know the type of grip it has. Excuse me, like this one here. So, you know. Pretty much, as you probably see, Raph is a little bit taller than Slash. And, you know, so basically what I'm saying is, you know, he was taller in the show. You would think they would make him a little bit double in size, you know. But, you know, that's how they do these things. But, of course, you also get this nice little pamphlet that comes with Slash. And uh, I already showed you guys what it, uh, what's all in it and the uh, neutralizer review. So, please check that out also. But, um, I figure I'll point this out what this well, is. Well, friends, here is part of Wave 9 of our Ninja Turtle figures. Um, 
I really have to say they are all totally amazing, uh, despite a few have missing paint and, you know, uh, one has a real, uh, I have a real big issue with the size, like this one, Slash. But all in all, I have to say they're all very decent figures, you know, they really do uh, somewhat interact with the show of Ninja Turtles. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing more figures come out of the Ninja Turtle line. I mean, we do have uh, the Robotic Foot Soldier and uh, Tiger Claw. And we have more figures coming out according to the uh, checklist that we have. And so, um, please, if you want to see more of the checklist, please check out uh, Neutralizer's review. So, well, uh, friends, I have to say I am very happy we do have a Slash figure. Uh, despite the fact that it is missing paint on his feet, the nails, and pretty much on uh, his uh, stomach area, uh, and probably by his neck, and his, uh, his spike mace uh, could really use some more paint, but so far so good, I am happy we have a Slash figure, like I said. Um, and I do dig the color on the back of his shell. The, the color, um, that light green, is amazing on it, you know? Um, so, and, and one thing, I, I, like I said, I do have a gripe about is his size. Really, in the show, he is, he's huge. He's t way taller than the, uh, the uh, four turtles. But the figure has been, like, making him a shrimp, pretty much. <laughs> but, um, anyway, I definitely do recommend uh, this Slash figure, despite the flaws. But I can look past on that. And, uh... You know, if you're a parent, uh, just want to get a, a nice little uh, additional turtle f uh, figure, you know, like an enemy f uh, figure of a turtle for his four Ninja Turtles, by all means. And to collectors, if you want to just have a slash in your collection, by all means also. So yes, I do recommend it 100%, and I uh, wish you all good luck with trying to find this figure. Um, I found mine at uh, Walmart for a retail price of $8.88. So they should be hitting your stores as we speak. But uh, anyway, well, friends, please check out my blog. is eugene421.blogspot.com for all your info on the channel, future views, future vlogs, you name it. Remember to follow me on Twitter and to like my Facebook. And friends, this is a review on the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Slash. Well, friends, I'm Eugene. I'm signing out. And I hope you have a good day. And I will definitely see you next time. Bye.